Hey everyone, this is Nitro. With the update released on October 24th, I thought I would go over some of the details of this update and the changes that have been made. So, first, there is a limited time Halloween login event, and you get a few items every day. There's these Jack O'Lantern pumpkins that contain mysterious gifts, and every day you get one of those. In addition to that, you know, there's a slightly different reward every single day, with the last day giving you Sophia's skin, which is her basically dressed up as a werewolf. Very cute overall, and so, you know, it's a nice free thing to get. Next, of course, there is the banner, the summoning banner on Sky Piercing Arrow with Alastriel and Claret. And along with the new summoning banner, there's the new Echo of Light event. I mean, if you're willing to put in $278, you can get some very nice skins. One of Claret, right? And then one of Illustrial. And these two skins really remind me of Studio Ghibli. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. So, other than the skins and the summoning, there is also, of course, some new items in the Secret Realm store. And the two new items are, first, the Kakonsis Crown, which is Shafiniel's exclusive. And it gives her a 30% chance after taking action to gain plus one skill range and plus one span to her skills, and it lasts one turn. It's good enough that I'm going to buy it. Uh, if you use Shafiniel, it's definitely worth getting. And other than that, there is also a bamboo hat for Kirikaze, where when unit is at 100 hit points, skill is increased by 30%. That one is less important unless you really need Kirikaze for, I guess, PvE content. I'm really not sure. Uh, I personally will be skipping that one. So I currently still have 550 challenge points to pick up three more items. Uh, it would be, I think, 600 or 610 if I had finished Lightless Eulogy. Uh, that was one map that I failed to complete, in large part because I didn't put enough time into it. And so... You know, I can get a few less exclusive items than someone who actually did finish it. Hmm. At the end of the day though, I see 60, 50 or 60 points as not being a big deal. So, continue. so those are the two new uh, items in the Secret Realm store. In addition to those items in the Secret Realm store, the Sakura Wars exclusive items from the equipment summoning have been added to the general pool now. Of course, they look different and they have different names. So if I go into the equipment section here, let's look at the weapons first. And the weapon is called Demon Slayer. So that's the same one as the Aqualine Ghost Blade, right? Where it can, where an attack that results in a critical hit will dispel one enemy buff and apply one debuff. Next, armor. The new armor is Cloak of Defiance, where defense and magic defense is increased by 5%, I guess, and before being forced into battle from a ranged attack, you deal fixed damage to the enemy once, right? And damage is equal to 0.5 times the hero's magic defense. Third, helmet. The helmet, the new one, is this one, the Flower Boon Bonnet. Uh, and it provides a 10% hit point increase. And after taking action, if the unit's hit points is lower than 50%, heal for 20% of your hit points. And then finally, for accessories, the new accessory is the very, very cute Juggler Plushie with the increased healing effect. And when you use single unit assist skills, the effect lasts one additional turn. This item in particular, you really do want for Tieris for Ancient's Call, because Tieris, her attack blessing, right, has a two turn cooldown and it lasts two turns. So having it last one extra turn can be very useful to basically permanently have attack blessing on your attacker, which would usually be Narn. All right, so those are the three new, uh, sorry, the four new equipment that are now available in the general pool. And 
I think that pretty much covers everything that I've seen so far. Uh, there have been a few new additional changes, for example, like they're just minor changes. For example, I think Leon's voice has actually changed from, uh, for example, let me see. For some reason, I think he sounds slightly different in battle. Uh, so maybe they just changed. Yeah. So there you go. So, other than Leon, another character that I noticed had some voice changes was Luna. Um, I think some of her voice lines have changed as well. And in addition to Luna, I think another character whose voices have changed a bit is probably Shuri. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at least, from what I've seen so far, Shuri no longer says Nani Nani. Uh, so, there's been various minor changes to character voices that I've noticed. Uh, they just, some people got new voice lines, some people, you know, say different things, and so on. But a lot of characters have been left the same. Alright, so, other than that, of course, with this new patch, uh, there's been five new battles, five new world event battles. I've already done videos of those. And there's one for each of the blood marks on the map, right? And they're called Spirit of Langrisser from one to five. So, I think that covers all the changes that I've noticed in the game so far. There may be other ones that I haven't noticed yet, but these are the main ones. After all, the patch has only been released today, so <laughs> I haven't had that much time to explore and check out all the different things. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful. And on that note, Nitro out.